OTC, PLT. No unexpected errors. There goes the beam. After that. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 slow. That's in work. Alright. Do you know the drill? T minus Suppression water system has been harmed. T minus one, one minute. minute. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill in drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis's computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. Well, clock is over. T minus 31 seconds due to a failure. And we have had a failure. Ground sequence. We had a problem on the ground retract switches. Energy DSP. Go ahead. We need guys to go do the verification for the LVC, please. to Atlantis's computers has occurred. Total right, rocket booster nozzle Amazing. steering check and work. Twenty. Firing chain is armed. Fifteen. Go for main engine start. Ten T minus ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Seven. Six. 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 Start. Now I see it. Houston. 
Houston Rockets fans. I agree. Point nine. Space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of the sentimental journey into history. Twenty-four seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Three thousand coming up in the cloud deck. This is throttling. Forty seconds into the flight. The three Cloud liquid fuel main engines throttling back three to 72 percent of their performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Throttle up. What do you see there, Rex? Three at 104. EVT is now at about point eight, about point zero seven. In the positive or negative direction? Negative. 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 Negative.
That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads-up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight, Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding Atlantis. the main engines to Signal engine Zaragoza 104. Signal engine Zaragoza 104. Signal engine Zaragoza 104. We've rolled to a heads-up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Wow. Yeah. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. 2.1. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main Captain engines continue to function normally. Nominal. 30, 30, go to go the to and go to pitch. pitch. We got it. Down the shutdown plan. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch. All right, Sandy, all ready? Yeah. <laughs> that call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of Atlantis for external tank uh, photography following the engine cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. You think you'd be now. Zero. <laughs> Coming up on throttling. I agree. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down That's once again to limit the stress on the shuttle and its four crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlantis now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Miko! That was a Miko. That was a Miko. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. That's the tank. Uh, Wait for 104. There's 104. I see an HA grader. Atlantis yeah. off the tank. There we go. Plus Commander that. Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the Atlantis external fuel tank as it drifts away. The only one is not required. Your preliminary is too big. 37 minutes. Thirty-seven minutes. Uh, no ohms one required. Thanks. No ohms one required. Thanks. Ohms engines are next. I agree. All right, everybody. We're out of the book. Sandy, you're on strap. I'm working on it. Coast ohms on. I agree. It's a lot easier than 3Gs. Welcome mm -hmm. to space, everyone. Yeah. Good to be back. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, I can't go off comm while I talk to you, do I? Oh, go ahead, I'll yell at you. I'm going to go off comm. Now, ready for rest?